Hi, welcome back to Kristen Cooks. I'm Kristen. Um, I'm sitting here in my truck. Just sitting here waiting for my kid to come out of school. So I thought I'd make a little intro video. Um, today I have two appetizer recipes that I wanted to share with you. Um, it's the appetizer season. Lots of parties and whatnot going on. So come on back and I'll show you what I have prepared. Okay, so starting off with the takeout with the egg rolls. Um, first thing you're gonna, gonna wanna do is grate your, or shred, cabbage. Um, I just used one head. Uh, I used a couple um, carrots, shredded those too, and some celery. Okay, so now that we have all of those grated, um, we're going to um, chop up our the shrimp, nice and uh, and fine, actually, because you you don't want it to be too chunky in your egg rolls. So I'm just going to chop this up, add a little oil, and then put it in a nice hot pan with um, just some. I think I put seasoned salt. Yeah season salt in there. So now the shrimp goes into the pan, and as you can tell, I seasoned it with more than just uh, seasoned salt. But anyway, um, so now we're taking all of our veggies and we're putting them into a pot with boiling water, um, putting them in, in the water for just two minutes, taking them out and putting them in an ice bath, then into a towel to squeeze out as much of the water as you can possibly get out, because otherwise your egg rolls will be soggy. Then after we have squeezed out the veggies of the from the water of the water, um, put it back in that big bowl, and then you're going to put in some scallions and season the veggies. Um, you're going to put in some white pepper, um, two and a half teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of sugar, one tablespoon of sesame oil. Um, optional, you can put in five spice powder. I did that before and I wasn't impressed. Like it gave kind of a, it just wasn't good. We didn't, we didn't like that. So I didn't put that in. And then after you season your veggies, then you add in the shrimp and mix that all together. Okay, and then you take one egg and just crack it into a little dish and um, whisk, whisk it up real quick with a fork. 
and then we're gonna start rolling up our egg rolls and you're gonna want to take the egg and just run it along the edge of the egg roll wrapper and this will help it all stay together when it fries Okay, and then you will take a, a nice tablespoon or two of the filling and just put it in one of the corners, fold it over, and then you kind of roll it up just like you would a burrito. Roll it and then tuck in the, the sides like my daughter's doing here and then finish, then just roll it up the rest of the way. And then you put it on a sheet pan um, and I, I put cornstarch on the outside of all the egg rolls and it made helped them to come out really crispy. It's a good tip. I recommend trying that next time you want to fry something. Um, and then I fried them in the fryer at 350 for, I mean, just like a couple minutes. Okay, so the egg rolls are done and now I'm going to do a little taste test. I have um, Pan Express sweet chili sauce. I like to have that with my egg rolls or soy sauce, whichever you like. So I'm just going to put a little bit in there, like so, and then that's what it looks like. Focus. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Okay. on the outside of them and they crisp it crisp off really well so I'm gonna have another appetizer that's gonna go along with this I don't know what day I'm gonna do it but I'll just have another so I'll have like a little appetizer video so okay see you in the next one okay next appetizer we have shrimp chips and I made a shrimp dip to go with them um, first you take a eight ounce block of cream cheese softened to room temperature then you add in a third cup of mayonnaise and whisk those together those two ingredients together until smooth And then after that is smoothed out, then you're going to add in um, a half teaspoon of lemon juice. Uh, then we have these three ingredients. We're gonna have a... Uh, See what it is. It three tablespoons of chili sauce. I like the Panda Express brand. I think I mentioned that in the last appetizer. And then we have Worcestershire sauce. We're going to put a quarter teaspoon. And then the recipe has dried minced onion after the Worcestershire, but I didn't have minced onion in my spice cabinet, so I just used onion powder and it was fine. Uh, let's see, one tablespoon of the onion powder.
Now we're on to the shrimp. I have half a cup here and I have bay shrimp. I'm just going to chop these up till they're really fine so we don't it so it blends in well with the other ingredients. Okay, and then we mix it all together, and then I'm going to put it into a, a dish, another bowl, and um, garnish it with some scallions, and then put it in the refrigerator until we're ready to eat it. There we are. Isn't it, isn't it gorgeous? Okay, so this other appetizer that I was talking about, we had egg rolls. I made those last night and then today we are having shrimp chips look they look so good and they start out like this and you put them in a hot oil and you come out with these and then I have my shrimp cream cheese dip to dip them in Let me get a little manageable. so I'm gonna take a bite like that looks good Mmm. These are good. And they're they're kind of fun to watch pop up too in the oil. This is the box. I got them off Amazon. So I know it's gonna be backwards. I'm using the other the front facing camera and everything's backwards that way. <clears throat> but anyway, these are really good. Be good with a nice cold beer at a Christmas party. A little something for people to watch, watch you do. It's fun. Watch you fry them up in the oil. It's fun. So here we go. So another exciting appetizer for those Christmas parties coming up. Woo! It's Christmas time. So, um, yeah, if you like this video, if you want to find more appetizer fun recipes, then hit the like button and please subscribe. I would love for you to subscribe um, and help me grow my channel. So I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye.